Hello beautiful creatures. Welcome back to my channel, Fira. If this is your first time joining us, my name is Cordelia and I talk about gothic beauty and fashion, mental health and lifestyle, basically anything that kind of captures my attention. So today's video is going to be a chatty get ready with me as I'm sharing like basically my favorite makeup products that I've been obsessed with that I think you've probably been sleeping on or potentially not heard of. Um, I forgot to film the intro for that. That's why I don't match the rest of the video. Oh, and I did want to let you know, this is what my skin looks like in natural indirect sunlight with absolutely no studio lights on. I have no lights on right now. I'm just using my iPhone 12 Pro Max so you can see the yellow tones to my skin. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoy this video. So if you've been around my channel for at least the past five years, you'll know that Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion is my favorite eyeshadow primer. I just put on Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer in Eden, which is a skin tone shade for me. It's like a light beige and it kind of like evens out any discoloration that I have in the eyes. I also love Sin and this one's more of like a shimmery champagne. So depending on my mood, I will go for one of these two as a primer. Now my number one most used eye eyeshadow palette for the past 12 months has been my Natasha Denona Trio Chromes palette because of the mattes. I love the weird mattes that are in this palette that I would have never picked them out myself, but they work really, really well on my complexion and they look great with all of my indie duochromes and multichromes, which is primarily what, what I use this palette for. I, I use it to, uh, I use it as a companion palette for all of my indies. <laughs> and for today, I'm going to use the color Garmin, this one right here on a fluffy brush and put that through my crease. And this is a Real Techniques brush. I'm basically, it's a fluffy brush that's slightly rounded and I'm just putting this color through my crease. I'm going to take the color Vertex next. So I'm taking Vertex on a Sigma E35 and I'm just using this along the top to diffuse Garmin just to make sure that it looks like it's seamless. I'm taking the same color Garmin and I'm using a Sigma E20 short shader brush and I'm going to put this along my lower lid. So my next favorite product that you've been sleeping on is the Marc Jacobs Showstopper Highlighter. It's this thing right here. It's just freaking amazing. Now, I do like it on my cheek, but actually the way that I've liked it best has been to put it onto my mobile lid. And I just kind of pat it on like this and it's just really pretty and glowy. When I've want to, wanted to put together a quick neutral look that didn't bore me to tears, this is what I have been doing and I thought it would be fun to show you this in this little video. And I'm just packing this on with a lid brush. This is a, I think a Smith 253. Next on my list would be the Nabla's Cupid's Arrow. I own most of the colors that this comes in. This is their black. The reason that I love this is because it's a gel eyeliner that actually seems to last on my waterline and that's such a hard thing for me to find. <laughs> so I really, really appreciate this product. Typically what I like to do with it is use a brush and either tight line with it or um, depending on what I'm going to do, if I'm going to do like wing liner, I will wing it out. But a lot of times I just basically use it to tight line on my upper lash line. I love the formula on these. I think that they're very easy to use, especially if you use like a separate brush like I, I mentioned. Yeah, I just, I don't feel like I hear people talk about it, but I think it's awesome and it's definitely a product you should not be sleeping on. So the next product I'm pretty sure you've been sleeping on is the Velour Pretty Big Deal Mascara. This is a tubing, like a, a tubing and peptide mascara. I didn't think I could use tubing mascaras until I found this one and it actually works for me. And it also seems to do a pretty decent job of holding my um, lashes up with a curl and no flaking. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on so you can see what it looks like on me.
So the next product you may have been sleeping on is the Auric Glow Lust in Morganite 2.0. I bought this when it was reformulated and I've put a lot of time and energy and effort into my skincare to try to get it to, to try, try to get my skin to look as nice as it can and to have a, the least amount of redness possible. And I feel like it's in a really good place right now. I'll put a link to my skincare video up here so you can see what my current skincare products are. If you're curious, I have dry sensitive skin with rosacea, so maybe it'll work for you. But anyway, I love this stuff. It's supposed to be like an illuminator and I use it as like a kind of, I guess, like a skin tint glow product. So let me show you what it looks like on me. Grab a brush in just a second. I'm just using my dense foundation brush brush it's a huda beauty brush to make sure that i have this on and it's not streaky so the reason that i love the arc glow lust is that originally i was looking for a product that or originally i wanted to love the charlotte tilbury, tilbury flawless filter foundation but when i put that on i felt like it made me look like a weird and kind of almost like a like weirdly Tin Man shiny metallic just in a way that I didn't particularly like how it looked on my skin. And I was like, oh, maybe I can't use products like that. Well, when I saw the Auric and I saw swatches of it, I was like, I almost feel like this might work for me. So I took a chance and bought it and I love it. I honestly, I prefer to just wear it by itself like this without any other foundation on top of it because I really like the way it, it gives my skin a nice glow. But I feel like um, you can see like, like, like I guess my skin like it feels like my skin but better with like a nice glow, I guess is where I'm trying to go with that. <laughs> Another product that I do love that is similar to this would be the Danessa Myricks Prism FX Hydrating Lotion in Original. I also like to wear that um, by itself, but this is a little bit more like pinky violet iridescence. And I feel like this is more like a champagne beige glow, which just looks really nice and natural. All right, these are the Lime Crime Bushy Brow Pomade Sticks. And this is the shade Pony. So it has a little brush in the back. I will brush my pathetically sparse brows up. And then I will fill them in. Pony is like a pinky purple, which works really nice with my Bi Pride hair. So I want to show you the colors that I have from the Lime Crimes uh, Bushy Brows Pomade Sticks because I have like most of them. I have Pony, Anime, Sea Witch, Valentine, Dirty Blonde, and Sleek Black. And so Pony is this pinky purple. It's what I put on my eye, I put on my eyebrows today because it matches my hair. Anime is a nice like like I'd say like a bright blue. And then Sea Witch is more like a teal green. Valentine is a red, but it's almost like an orange based red. So I think it could work for people who have like reddish orange hair. Um, and then there's Dirty Blonde, which is like a taupe. I thought it was gonna be more of like a neutral taupe, but it might be a little bit warm on me because of my undertone. And then this is Sleek Black, which is um, like Sleek Black works perfect with like my natural root color that you can see right here. So I like this product because you just kind of put it on and your brows stay, or my brows stay out of the way and I think they look great. 
but yeah, I just put my brows on. I think they look great, and um, I like how easy this product is to use. I like the fact that I have colored options because I've been doing black brows for so long just because I never really found any colored options that I like for a long time. I, I can't remember the last time I did colored brows, so. So the next product I think you've probably been sleeping on is Terra Moon's Eyeshadows in Specific Blood Moon. This is a deep, dark duochrome, and I love it specifically for smoking it out as liner. So this is what it looks like on my hand. And it's basically black with like plum and copper and like fiery colors. It's just really pretty. You know what, I will, um, I should have put some on my upper lash line but I just didn't think about it when we were doing what we were doing. So let me see if I can grab a brush that'll, let me. I just put like a little bit of like smoke right at the outer lashes with it, which typically I like using it as liner. If you are a fan of multi-chromes, duochromes, I highly recommend checking out Terra Moon's Cosmetics because I've purchased a ton of their products and love them. They make beautiful, beautiful multi-chromes. The next product you've probably been sleeping on would be the Lime Crime Plushies. And in specific, I love the plushy glows. And I want to show you why, because I really, really just love how quick and easy this formula is to like put on my lips. Specifically, I really, really love the plushy glow formula, but they've been limited edition, so you can try the regular plushies currently. Uh, I just put like a nice thin layer on with my finger of the color on my lips, and it gives it just like a nice, comfortable like lip stain without it being like drying or causing my skin to flake off. You can use lip liner, or like, I typically use lip liner to make sure that my lip lines are way more crisp. So my camera shut off in the middle. I just actually outlined my lips with Melt Ambrosia pencil, which is my favorite red lip pencil. And I'm going to put on a, another layer of the Lime, Crime, the Lime Crime Plushy Glow that I have. This is from like their Christmas set. There's just something about this formula that I love. It's like unique and it's thin. And it works well. It doesn't come off easily. Like it, it's not 100% makeout proof, but it is definitely makeout resistant. Um, does really well inside my masks, and I just like how like quick and easy it is to put on. I also happen to find like the slightly like glowy satiny finish to be much more flattering than just a traditional matte finish. Although again, like I said, I think both of these look great. I would love to see Lime Creme come out with more of the plushy glows and expand the plushy formula because they got rid of a lot of the colors. The blush I'm gonna put on is a product I don't think anybody is sleeping on. It's the Fenty Cream Blushes. And I'm actually gonna show you all five colors that I have, but I think I'm going to put on Peach Face today. So here are my five blushes from Fenty, and from left to right we've got Drama Class, Bikini Martini, Summer Wine, Rose Latte, and Peach Face. And I love, the love, love this formula, it's fantastic, and if you were looking for uh, a cream blush formula to be obsessed over, this is definitely a great one. So yeah, those are my Fenty cream blushes, and I love them, I feel like nobody is probably sleeping on those, but in case you have been please go check them out. You'll find at least one or two colors that I think you'll love. And I love the formula. It's very easy to put on and it looks beautiful. So yeah. Um, I think the last thing I'm gonna do is throw on a highlight. 
and um, this highlight is not a product I think you're sleeping on but it is the first time I'm getting to wear it and it is the Star Surfer highlighter from Kalidos. It's number two from their Space Age collection. And I bought this recently and had a chance to put it on so I figured I'd do that now. Let's see, are there any other makeup products that I feel like I should mention to you in this makeup products you've been sleeping on? Probably the Kimchi Cheek Concealer. This stuff, if you are looking for a full coverage concealer that works all over your face, under your eyes, I would say check this out. Um, if you are looking for a great foundation for TV that's going to last, that's sweat proof, waterproof, I would recommend the Danessa Myricks Vision Cover Cream. But yeah, thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with me and um, chat with me while I do my makeup. Let me go ahead and show you the finished look up close. This is a very neutral look for me. Oh, let me turn the light down just a little bit. And like I said, I did my liner super fast, so it's not perfect or anything like that, but I just wanted to show you what this looks like on me. So what are your favorite makeup products you think nobody's heard of or that might be sleeping on? Or what makeup products do you think that I should check out? Please be sure to let me know in the comments below. I love you all and I'll see you next time. Bye.